Hello everyone, this is Jokshir, here, and in this video, I wanted to make a guide. And we're going to get started on these different guides for different things that were introduced in No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1. So, for this video, I want to go ahead and show you how to get all the customizable options and how to find the vile brood spawns. So let's go ahead and get started. Wow, man. Isn't just the, this the most pretty thing you've ever seen? I mean... The update to Worlds has been insane, like, they're all so good, but with that, we've got a new hostile fauna. So it is a bit tricky to find this, as far as I've seen there is not an indicator on the systems, like the galaxy map, to show you where they're at, so you kind of have to explore and find them on your own, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So like I said, there is no indicator on the galaxy map to tell you where there is a vile brood spawn. And I think the easiest way to do this would be to go into the Nexus and get a vile brood mission. But no one has been able to get it as far as I was able to see on Twitter. I was able to get it first try. The only way to do this is to just go to multiple different systems. We'll see if we can find the planet and if I find the planet I'll show you what it looks like. Alright so I just warped to another system in my galaxy which is the Euclid galaxy and I found this tropical planet that does have the vile brood detected on it. We are going to go to this planet and I'm going to show you what you have to do in order to get this stuff. Okay, so once you're on the planet, you're just going to want to open your scanner and you're going to want to find, it says a juicy fauna or something like that. Go around and scan for something like that. It will show up. Found this beautiful crash freighter. Looks really good. It looks really good with this stuff. Although that's that's a bit weird. Anyway, I did find one. It was not too far away. So it's called a juicy grub. So you're going to want to find a juicy grub. So you're going to want to pick it up. Then you'll get it added to your catalog. Then you're going to want to go into your inventory. And you're going to want to crush the larva. And then it spawns. So then you just you fight it and I can make this super easy with the paralysis mortar and it's a really cool boss fight man honestly it's super cool and there it goes once that happens you should be able to do this two or three times, I don't necessarily remember, but it's one of those and it gets you two or three customizable head options. I don't remember because I did this all last night on stream and I was too tired to remember. Do it three times to be certain and you should be able to get all the customizable head options. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell to protect and serve.